We're taking Vietnam's longest train journey. It's a bit awkward, we've been here a while. We need to pay and the woman's asleep. Hello, I'm Rianne and this is my husband Ben. Yeah. It's been a while, welcome back. We're on tour of Dridges and this is our Vietnam series. We haven't recorded in like two weeks as my mum has been here visiting, but we're back with a bag. Today we're gonna get a 36 hour train journey all the way from Hanoi to Saigon. It's gonna be very eventful. Make sure you stay tuned. We've been waiting at the train station for about 30 minutes. We're mega early, but we're actually on time. Whoa, this looks nice. We're actually in first class. We are sharing with two other people, but we're hoping it's going to be empty. That's coming four. Coach five for this one. Five. That one, yeah? Thank you. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Right, we're looking for cabin 13 and 14. There is two other people that should be in my bus. Stop. <laughs> is that it? I don't know where we're looking. Oh, there. 15 and oh, 13. And what? 14. With the bottom these, two. Yeah, these two. Wow, this is quite amazing. This is where we're going to be sleeping for the next 36 hours. Well, living. Let's have a look around. Pretty simple, right? Top bunks occupied by, don't know. We've got a little step so they can step up. We're on the bottom bunks. The reason we chose the bottom bunks because we get the little table. So during the day, we sit here, Brian can work on a laptop, we can have a chat, we can have coffee. But we are going to explore it at some point tomorrow because there is a restaurant cart as well. Interesting. And I hope they serve beer because I've got no beers. 32 hours without beer is like a world record in recent sort of weeks. So. <laughs> <laughs> so also they've given us pillows and quilt covers as well. Sort of a pleasant sort of temperature here. Hopefully we don't really need them. Though. We know the aircon gets chilly later on, so we will need it. This did say soft beds in first class. It's yeah. rock solid. <laughs> they um, slept on a bed, similar sort of comfiness and port of Central Police Station, so. <laughs> well, I'm getting comfortable straight away. The shoes we all hate. They're nice and clean now, I'll give them a good wash. Who sucks? <laughs> okay, so what we've done, because we're on this train 36 hours, this is two nights. So we don't want to be going through all our stuff in our bags every day to get our stuff out. So this is how I've organised it. Let's go in here, made it nice and simple. We've got Rianne's moisturiser and whatever. We have hairbands, brush, electricals, all our chargers and everything. And then we bought these nifty cups for hot drinks, noodles, anything, because there should be hot water on here. We we're going to have a little sprawl later on, but we bought these back in Halong Bay and they were $3 each. And then we've got our charging thing, but I can't see a plug socket. All I can see is a USB port. So that could be annoying. The flip flops, the toilet, but I have noticed there is flip flops here cause the floors do get quite wet and a bit grubby around here. I'm not sure these will fit you, Ben. Uh, not with my socks on and I'm not taking my socks off. <laughs> oh, they stink. They? Oh, they do actually. Oh, they stink. Or cheesy. Or stinky feet. I had to go and wash my hands. But then we've got these. So this is my 36 hours worth of clothes, socks, underwears, just kids poo, wee myself, extras, backup, joggers, hoodies, if you get cold, that's my one. And where's Ben's one? Oh, it must be in your bag. Ben's is in his bag, I'll grab it out in a minute. But I'm just gonna toy this up and it looks like we've got room under our beds. Oh, hold on, we've still got some bits. We've got some pans. Let's see if this fits under our bed. Yeah, it's empty under there, so we're gonna push both our bags under our bed. That's the best thing about having the bottom bags. You have the storage under your bed. Obviously, if there's other people, they can fit their bags under it, but we're close to our bags. This is what I like about it. Yeah, I mean, there? the top bunk have got this bit of storage here, so. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You do get storage of it at the top, but I just find that you've got more space at the bottom, so it's better. So you could pick your top or bottom. We booked here. Did it cost more? Uh, a little bit more, I think. Yeah, it does cost a little bit more to go on the bottom bunk, but I definitely think it's worth it. You get the table and you're at the bottom. Unfortunately, you'll probably have some stinky feet hanging down at some point, I can imagine, but let's hope it's empty. I've just noticed that after Ryan totally abused this 
train and said there's no plugs. Look. Plugs. Sorry. We have got a tea and coffee stash. So we're going to go and have a hunt because I need to know if there's hot water's on here because the food I bought is noodles. So if we ain't got hot oil, we're screwed. To be honest, I think there probably is going to be hot water because this seems quite a modern train. And I'm actually really, really impressed. I, thought, I was expecting the worst. Thumbs up, Vietnam trains. 36 hours. Don't mind, I could do 37. So while Ryan's setting up, I'm setting them myself in. I've I've got my own personal USB. I've already plugged the charger in, so I will be charging. Um, Ben, you know what? that you said that you wouldn't be having a beer. Yeah. Great oh, what a legend. I'm so happy right now. Look, it's cold. I've got the Ruby beer. Thing is, right, these beers are only ten thousand, which is like probably half the price of all the other beers in the shop, and they're good. So if you come to Vietnam. Drink a ruby, honestly. The reason why Ben didn't know he didn't have a beer is because I went to the shop and got all our snacks and treats in. So Ben has no idea what I've got on here. So far, quite good. No one else has entered, but we still have 15 minutes before we leave. Been looking around and it's basic. Like if you've done a sleeper train before, you get your bed, your bed can fold up and you've got your good aircon up there. But it's nice and cool in here. I thought it'd be really hot, but they've actually got the aircon on now. Normally. They don't have the aircon on until they get going. The bed is quite small, thin. I'm not complaining. It's clean sheets, everything looks nice, and I think I can sleep here for two nights. We'll see how the first night goes, but train leaves at 10.15, so it is quite late at night. Neither of us had dinner, so we will go and find some hot water and get some food on the go in a bit once we get moving. But we're gonna wait here, see if anyone else joins us. Ben, are you gonna have your beer now? Of course I am. Yeah, when you put it in front of me, I haven't stopped thinking about it and now you've actually mentioned it, oh, of course I'm going to probably open it now. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Ah, <laughs> says you're right, cocky. on the dot and we are on the go and we've got the room to ourselves. we don't think we're going to get the room to ourselves the whole time i'm sure there's going to be stops and people are going to be getting on but for now we're going to enjoy it and think we've got the room to ourselves so we're going to sit back relax and enjoy this right. ride it's dinner time the moment we've all been waiting for so let's find some hot water let's have our noodles so we've got a little selection here which one are you going for oh, i like this one because it's got a picture of chicken that's a problem <laughs> got an idea so i thought take our cups with us fill the hot water and bring it here instead of taking that and trying to fill it at the hot water machine also obviously between the carriages where the toilet is i have seen someone having a crafty cigarette so if you smoke don't worry you don't have to go 32 hours without a fag just have one crafty because everyone's doing it 36 hours Okay, so I've got, I think it's beef noodle pot. So we've got a couple of sachets. The noodles are in that. Mm. All the ingredients are in there. We've just got to wait five minutes for the hot water and the noodles to make a combination and sort of cook itself. I mean, it's incredible. It's actually one of the best things I've ever seen. I think my noodles are ready. I've left them for a bit, but I am gonna eat them now because I'm hungry. Good morning. Last night was all right. I slept reasonably okay, but I was woken up about 6 a.m. by very noisy people on and off the train. We are actually joined, so we're not on our own anymore. We're about 500 kilometers into our 1,723 kilometer trip. We just stopped at Dong Hoi station. It's a busy station. A lot of people got on and a few people got off as well. As the train goes, the, the train's gonna get busier and busier. So we're not gonna be on our own very much. I think that we was quite lucky in the beginning. 
So here you've got a sink which is separate to the bathroom which is handy so you can brush your teeth, wash your face and it's not going to close up the toilet. Over here behind me, your hot water for your tea and coffee. Then this is what the toilet Just stopped here so you can jump off and get some food here. A little bit tempted, but I just did a whole pack of Oreos, so there's no point. Not really got the guts to jump off because no me, I'll probably move as I jump off. We found like a blue chart which tells us when we're stopping and how long we're stopping for. It's been a nice pleasant ride. I've got a lot of work done. We've got the laptop out. Um Ben's booking our next couple of weeks accommodation yeah, up what, to Christmas. Sorry, what I will say is when you obviously look these up, you can only get two cabins that are on their own for two people. Just make sure you book the bottom bunks if you can because obviously we get all the room down here. Normally we're bumping at the top and where Ben is ginormous. <laughs> he is way too big for a top bunk, so Actually, it is a lot nicer. Oh yeah, do you fit? Yeah, look, see? From there. Six foot one. And um, and I've got what six foot two, six foot one. Oh, that's not too bad. I've easily got two inches there. So if you're six foot three, you'll fit in it. Uh, zero. Zero. Uh, no, zero. No, zero. waiting like what 40 minutes for the cart to come back past someone just come past collecting rubbish so it doesn't look like we're going to get any food so what we're going to do get our noodle pots and it's going to be noodles again i know it's emotional but we've got to do what we got to do travel travel life look at this one 
instant roast noodles with chicken or do you want instant roast noodles with beef? Okay, while our noodles are doing whatever they do with the lid on, um, it is now 6.20, so we're getting for it. We ain't got really long left, we've just got a night's sleep and then we're there. So it's been really nice and I think it's gone really quick. We've got loads of work done on the laptop. I've had a whole pack of Oreos, so it's been a good day. How have you found it, Ben? For me, although this is quite boring, being like just transported somewhere and just like relaxing, it's been quite an experience. And as Rianne said, it's a chance to catch up on things and a chance to relax. Good morning. I slept all right last night. wasn't the best, but well, I slept good. Did you? Mm. It's the last day. We've got about half an hour before I stop, and then we're getting off. So we're just gonna recap and say how the 36 hours went on this trip. Yeah, I actually thought it was really, really good. Yeah, I did actually. So you think 36 hours is a long time, right? Like you sleep not quite half of that you probably sleep a third of that mobile data you've got the whole way so it flies by i watched netflix last night yeah. i was actually shocked i didn't think we would have any data because you're on the move and obviously changing and out signals absolutely fine i only have like two long-term people per cabin the first class cabin you've only got two other people with you people are not going to be with you for longer than six hours so. another good hack we collected these from hotel rooms and used these each morning and afternoon so we didn't have to keep getting out our toothbrushes and toothpaste it just made it a little bit easier and then put them in the bin after use um, we packed all our food we didn't buy nothing on board did we we didn't but we didn't realize in the evening time they do bring around a meal and we probably it looked quite nice we probably could have bought that but we didn't. yeah we kind of messed it up by missing it yeah. charges for every individual bed so don't worry about having to charge your stuff staff here are really amazing they like kind of knock on your door to let you know when stops are and tell us to lock our doors sometimes when it's like that i'm guessing it's when they know that we haven't got anyone coming into this room which is handy then we can lock it overnight the first night we were completely yeah. on our own 36 hours went so quick i, I could do that double like i feel like yeah, i could do with another day and night here easily yeah it was quite comfortable it was yeah. just quite relaxing but it was nice to just stay put and get things done i, I like edited two videos but well, yeah i'd say get your first class cabin with with the full full berth there is a two berth i think there's two per train but they're really hard to get they look booked out for like three months and they're expensive and they double the price and i don't even know if it's worth paying it so the full birth cabin is one million six hundred each for a 36 hour train journey sleeping overnight i don't think that's bad at all we are literally about 20 minutes out and i really need a wee so i'm gonna go and have a wee oh another point there is no showers on here so we stink it's been two days and i feel absolutely gross now I messaged our accommodation and they said that as soon as we get there we can check in. When we get there we'll suss things out to see how far our hotel is and we'll try and make our way there. We're actually ready, our bags are packed up, everything's in there, we've cut it down to our two bags so we've got rid of the one little one because we're going to be hot and tired and we don't want to be faffing around. Not sure when we get off the train how far we're going to be from our accommodation so we're going to have to google map it, walk or tack. We're not sure, we don't know this area so it's going to be fun. This is the hard part of a travel day, it is getting off and get into the accommodation. But other than that, we are ready to go. So we're not gonna be running off last minute. We probably will be, but we're ready. City. Now we're quite far away from our accommodation, so now we need to work out how to get there. I'm not sure the transport is here yet, but otherwise we'll just use the Grab app. Golden rule, get away from the taxi. 
Well, that actually went too bad. I don't know if the camera scared them off a little bit, but they didn't really approach us too bad. No, they're quite cool about it. But... It is definitely a lot warmer down here. Ben's just looking at his phone, checking how far we are from our accommodation. But there is a calf Amazon here, so I'm happy. It's been a while since we've had our frappes. No. Just beeping us, just for fun. <laughs> on the pavement and there's a moped i was confused i thought i was on the road for a minute at the moment it's not too bad with mopeds being on the pavement like park but i don't know if we get further in whether it'll be quite overwhelming decided to walk to our hotel because it was only about a 30 minute walk from the train station i know um, we're crazy we could probably pay a couple of dollars for a taxi but to be honest you get the full experience if you walk even though i hate these bags it's so heavy as you can see it's like pulling on me but it's a laugh why not oh food look at that yum just walking down this road we've seen so much street food it looks amazing I'm so excited and we're definitely going to do a food tour in here because the food is meant to be the best here so make sure you subscribe and stay tuned because there's going to be one We went to check into our hotel and he said I would let you check in but there's no rooms available so you will have to wait till at least 12. so as we had to wait we looked for the closest coffee shop and it happened to be cafe amazon we have not had a cafe amazon since we left thailand and it's our favorite and we got frappies again i nearly finished mine but we're sat outside we've just got a view of the busy busy streets so we're just going to sit here watch that do some work and wait till we can check in this was fifty-nine thousand dong which is a little bit more expensive than thailand but still reasonable We need to see what the McFlurry is. Oh yeah, we do, yeah. Let's check out the McFlurry. What have we got? Shopping Oreo. Alright, we've got matcha Oreo. That's a new one. We've just ordered some food. It is like quarter to 11. Breakfast has ended. But we're having lunch early. Because we're bored. What else can you do but eat? But we just ordered two meals and in total it come to two hundred thousand dong i'm looking forward to seeing what it's like so i got a different burger a deluxe royal i think it was and ben got like chicken and rice hello thank you thank you, thank you. well we're heading back to our accommodation it is now 12 o'clock so we're hoping and praying we can check in but that was well a good mcdonald's i was actually really impressed Heading back a bit sharp, just trying to keep this real. <laughs> I am busting for a dump. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't gone for two days on the train and then the toilet was blocked off in McDonald's. So we're swiftly walking back, but just a quick one. This is District 1 where the night light is. We're actually going back and we're going out to meet a couple of friends tonight. Even though we're knackered and be living on the train for two days, we're going to do it. So we can check into our room, but you can't pay by card, so we've gone to the cash point. He did say we could pay later, but he wanted to keep hold of our passports. So we were like, no, let us check our room first, and then we'll go and get your cash. So that's what we're going to do. Right, we're in our room. Um, seems basic, but clean, so we're happy with it. We're here for 11 nights, so we've got lots of videos to come, so make sure you subscribe. Bye. <laughs> Bye. 
random stuff. Oh, there's a snuffle. <laughs> Thank you. All right, let's get back. Oh, hell. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you're filming over there. Oh, this kid definitely is filming you. Turn it right straight, like that. Why would you have it angled? It's a cockroach on my window. Uh, ben, get rid of this cockroach. People, but no one really talks to you anyway. Uh, I got, I got a different. Blah, blah, blah. But you can't buy both. But you.